The word rapture is not in the Bible, or is it? Hello saints and future saints. Today's topic concerns the word rapture. Whether or not the actual word rapture exists in the Bible today. The actual word rapture is indeed not in the Bible. And this causes some confusion for some people. And the fact that it's not in the Bible is used by those outside of the body of Christ to attack us because they've believed a lie from others who don't rightly divide God's word and the cycle continues. Well, in this study, we'll take a look at why the word rapture, uh, where it came from, where it is in the Bible, and if the concept of being raptured is even in God's word. When we speak of the rapture, the word rapture, we're talking about the catching up of the body of Christ just before Daniel's 70th week, or some call it the seven year tribulation. Now calling it the seven year tribulation is technically not correct, but most people seem to understand that it's the seven year period, which Daniel's week is a seven year period anyway. So moving along, it's this phrase catching up that we need to pay special attention to here. The phrase catching up is mentioned nine times in the King James Bible and specifically mentioned by Paul three times in his books and again one time by John in the book of Revelation. Again, we need to apply the rules of rightly dividing God's word. We need to find the context of his word in order to understand the meaning of what's being said, who it's applied to, the why, the how, the where, questions we need to ask in order to rightly divide. So Paul mentions the phrase three times in his books. Let's take a look at the exact verses we're dealing with here. Look with me at 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 2. I knew a man in, I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell. God knoweth. Such a one caught up to the third heaven. And the second verse in 2 Corinthians verse 12, uh, chapter 12, verse 3 and 4. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body I cannot tell, God knoweth how that he was caught up into paradise and heardeth, uh, heard unspeakable words which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Now the third verse where we see this is in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 through 17. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Now John mentions this phrase catching up in his book of Revelation. We look at Revelation chapter 12 verse 5. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. So we see the phrase caught up being used here four times. Three times by Apostle Paul and one time by John in Revelation. Now sometimes we need to trace words, okay? Tracing them from the English back to the original languages to understand the exact meaning of the words that are being used. This is part of right division. The phrase caught up in our King James Bibles traces back to the Greek word harpazo. Let's take a look at what the the word harpazo actually means. Now so we see here harpazo, the pronunciation, parts of speech is a verb. Definition of harpazo is to catch up, take by force, catch away, pluck, uh, to catch, to pull, to seize, to carry off by force, 
to seize on, claim for one's self eagerly, to uh, snatch out or away. So here, the meaning of the word harpazo is to be snatched away forcibly, caught away. The phrase caught up translated perfectly with the context of the verse Paul and John uses in scripture. Now the word harpazo is it's like a thief grabbing a purse. He seizes it and he pulls it away unto himself taking it away with him. So what about the word rapture? Where does it come from? You might be wondering. Well, the word rapture is the Latin translation from the Greek word harpazo. You see, when you translate the word harpazo to English, the best definition is the phrase caught up. When you translate the Greek word harpazo to Latin, they use the word raptus. It's R-A-P-T-U-S. And when you translate the word raptus to English, that's where we get the word rapture. Sometimes it really pays off to rightly divide and here we see a perfect example of why it's so important to do just that. In 2 Timothy uh, 2.15, it truly says it all. Study to show thyself approved unto God a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So in Paul's three verses where he says caught up, if you were reading the Latin Bible, what's called the, the Latin Vulgate, you'd see the word raptus instead of caught up. Now, can you see why we use the word rapture? I hope so. On a side note here, does anyone know what three languages were used on the sign? The piece, the little piece of wood used and placed directly above our Lord's head on the cross when he was crucified. The one that said, if I'm not mistaken, the king of the Jews. The three languages used were Greek, Hebrew, in Latin. I thought that was kind of interesting and just wanted to share it with you. But okay, back to our subject at hand the word rapture. So let's read Paul's verses again using the word rapture in context and rightly dividing. In 2 Corinthians, again, chapter 12, verse 2 I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell. God knoweth such a one was raptured to the third heaven in the second verse 2nd Corinthians chapter 12 3 and 4 and I knew such a man whether in the body or out of the body I cannot tell God knoweth how that he was raptured into paradise and heard unspeakable words which is not lawful for man for a man to utter now in the third verse in 1st Thessalonians chapter 4 16 and 17 for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first then we which are alive and remain shall be raptured together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord now let's look over at Revelation and see what John writes in Revelation chapter 12 verse 5 and she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child was raptured unto God and to his throne so the verdicts in and we've proven by rightly dividing keeping things in context that the word rapture can be found the word rapture is indeed correct in describing all the events Paul and John describe. And it's absolutely permitted to use the word rapture in describing our catching up unto our Lord Jesus just prior to Daniel's 70th week, the tribulation period as some would call it. So question is the rapture found in the Bible? I think we've answered that. And now you'll be able to show those who tell you otherwise the truth and not the lie. Thanks for studying with me, saints. And let me ask you, if you have any questions that have been bothering you for some time and you'd like to do you know, a study about it, please message me. Let me know what the questions are and uh, we'll see what we can do. 
grace and peace in Christ Jesus be unto you and your families. See you on the next video.